Hello all and welcome to the next video here in the Onion Man's Rooftop 2 Head of Cow Caravan of Treasure and sometimes Barter. We are taking a look at the WWE Target Exclusive Elite Legends Series 16, Farouk and Bradshaw. That was a lot to say. Um, yeah, we got the Acolytes. It's not quite the APA. Let's just be real here. I saw some people saying, oh, we finally got the APA. Yes and no. It's Farouk and Bradshaw, but they are not the APA here. This is definitely more Acolytes Ministry of Darkness era, which kind of makes sense. Let's just be real, um, because we're getting a re-release of um, in the greatest hits line of that kind of Ministry era Undertaker. Um, we've got these two. Didn't we get a Viscera recently or we're going to get a Viscera? It's been announced. All we need is like Midian and the rest of the brood, and you'd probably have most of the ministry. Anyway, yeah, you can tell they got the chest, like the fake chest tattoos, and if you kind of look on the inside on the side of their pants, uh, it looks like they kind of got that reworked Undertaker symbol on them. I'll have to take them out and really look here in a minute, but yeah. There you go. There's the back of the boxes if you want to look at them. It even says right there, Ministry of Darkness. So the back of this even talks about this is Ministry Era, not APA, Acolyte Protection Agency. This is an interesting set. We've got Molly Holly, which is funny because we've got a couple of different Hurricane figures in recent years. Rey Mysterio, I believe this is ECW One Night Stand Mysterio, specifically 2006 One Night Stand and his world title match against Sabu, which was great up until the end. It, was, it felt like right as that was picking up, it ended. And then you got Farouk and Bradshaw, Ministry of Darkness era. So, yeah, we'll take a look at Bradshaw first. And then go from there. A lot of people forget they won the tag titles in this era. I believe the APA won the titles a couple times. They weren't, um, what's a good word? They're definitely a staple of the Attitude Era, but I always feel like they're more on the secondary level of the Attitude Era. Mainly because you have, like, Edge Christian, the Dudley Boys, and um, the Hardy Boys are kind of like your three teams that really dominate. And then after that, it's definitely more of the... I don't know why this is so hard to open. Oh, I got it. Um... Then you had like your secondary tag teams of the air, and that's where I feel like the APA is. It's like the APA, uh, Test and Albert, maybe, um, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, he's got twist ties, but twist ties be damned, I have scissors. Those are on the inside. That's so weird. Okay. Bradshaw was a lot harder to get out of there than I expected. It's a great likeness. I just don't know if I like the body they used on this. He's got some close fisted hands. Those are his alternates. Uh, he comes with the old school but beautiful old World Tag Team Championship belt. I like this belt a lot. This belt design. It's very classic. Very fitting to me. Um... Yeah, it looks fantastic. I like it. I like this belt. And you know what's an underrated belt for tag teams? The old SmackDown belt. When it was like the world's greatest tag team, Shelton, ha uh, Shelton Haas. Uh, Shelton and Haas. Uh, Shelton Benjamin, Charlie Haas. Uh, Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio had those belts. The Guerreros, Los Guerreros. Edge and Rey Mysterio. That 2002 era SmackDown belt, that's a great belt. Underrated in my opinion with the blue in the background. But this is the original... Tag team titles that were around for what feels like ever. I like them. I like them a lot. Then we got Bradshaw. He looks good. I would say he's a little too skinny. Um, like almost to the point where his head looks too big on the body. The legs look good. He, they gave him like the thicker legs. The arms look like they're a good size. He's got the bands on the very top of the arms. They did it at the joint, which actually looks really good. Um, 
He's got the one elbow pad, but he could have been bigger, beefier. Bradshaw was not always like ripped up and stuff like this. So I feel they got the body wrong. They got the symbols wrong. There's that reworked Undertaker symbol I was telling you about with like the pentagram in the middle. Um, so it's a fantastic likeness. All, most of it is fantastic. I would have done different abs in a different torso. Basically the torso needs to be redone. I would have put uh, one of the thicker torsos on this because it makes the rest of it look too big. Um, is what it is. Next up we got Farouk, a.k.a. Ron Simmons. Um, Ron Simmons, one of the most legendary wrestlers of all time. Um, one of the most legendary badass wrestlers of all time. Just somebody you didn't mess with. In the words of Arn Anderson, pardon my language, Ron Simmons is the only man he ever saw that was unfuckwithable. Um, that's how tough Ron Simmons was. Cool. There you can see first, uh, I shouldn't say first WCW world champion. He is the first black world champion. Um, and then he gets to WWF and they never really knew what to do with them. I mean, definitely at first when they had the Farouk Assad character, which it's funny cause that figure is still at my Walmart. Um, he's the legend in that set. It's the gladiator, blue gladiator outfit, Ron Simmons, when he first became Farouk and he came to the WWF. And then he does the nation and the nation stuff is great. Of course, the nation stuff is probably more remembered for the rock taking over the nation, but it is what it is. So let's get into Ron Simmons. I love Ron Simmons. Damn. Um, I wouldn't mind a more accurate APA. Um, I know they've done them in the jeans and like wife beaters before, but like redo those with these current head sculpts. That'd be great. I think you'd have perfect APA figures with the gloves and everything. Yeah, that'd be cool. Make a whole set where they have the door. Remember, people would walk it up to him and they'd be like, hey, you got to go through the door. And they'd walk around and knock on the fake door. Oh, that's great. Good times. And great memories. That's a Colt Cabana reference. Um, he's got Mike holding hands, so cool there. Uh, looks like he's got the same twist ties on the arms here. Let me get those real quick. Oh. See, now this one looks great all jacked up and stuff, because Ron Simmons was. Bradshaw, not so much. I mean, he's a big, burly dude. But that's the thing. He should be big and burly, not big and jacked up. Ron Simmons, though, you can get away with it. Um, so let me take the belt off here. So again, comes with the same belt. Beautiful. Love it. Um, and here we go. It's a great Ron Simmons likeness. The hairline's not as thung back, or like thinned back. He still had most of his hair. They did the same thing. The bands are like at the joint, so it looks like they move with it. It's really good. The symbols, same tights and everything. A little bit thicker legs because he's Ron Simmons. And he is big and jacked up. This is um, perfect for him. I like this. This is a great body mold for Ron Simmons. And I think you could have done... Uh, he's bigger than Bradshaw. Even this body would have looked good on Bradshaw compared to what he has on. Like that, He just looks scrawny. Um, but Ron Simmons looks perfect. Um, this is great. I like it. Let's see if he stands. Let me fix his feet here. Yeah, it stands for the most part. You got to lean him forward a little bit. I think he's got a bit of a stiff foot joint here. But it works for what it needs to be. They look good. I like them. Oh, he's having some trouble now. Hold on. You kind of got to lean him forward, which kind of sucks, but he looks good for the most part. So there you go. Now Bradshaw's having trouble standing. Okay. Farouk and Bradshaw, the Acolytes. Not quite the APA yet. They're just still the Acolytes in the Ministry of Dark Darkness. I hope we get some reworked APAs. Like, put these head sculpts on APA figures with jeans and the wife beaters and the, gla the black gloves they wore when they were the Acolyte Protection Agency and some beer cans and stuff. It'd be great. Um, but I like them. Um, I'm going to give a big thumbs up to the Ron Simmons figure. 
I'm going to give a thumbs in the middle to Bradshaw because I think they really messed up on the body. He should be bigger, more burly, like big barrel chest and everything. Kind of like a Stan Hansen, you know what I mean? Um, but not this like scrawny looking chest and abs torso piece they put on. Um, so yeah, thumbs in the middle for Bradshaw, but big thumbs up on the Ron Simmons. So that's going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You do not have to if you do not want to, but I always appreciate anybody who does. And thank you. I'll catch you guys in the next video.